All right, guys, so got a lot going on today. Um, going to be working on the Black Love Chronicles coloring book all day long. That's kind of the big mission. And I thought it would be really cool if we just kind of went through my process of putting together a coloring book page. So you're going to see how I use Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop to get the job done. All right, let's check it out. Look. That was so cliche. It was just so cliche whatever uh <laughs> let's just see how this day goes So I'm taking a break real quick get that focus in there uh, so let's talk about the process that I'm doing um, see the thing about it is is that I use to keep things streamlined I'm using two basic programs to to do pretty much everything which is Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop so right now I'm doing all of the drawing all of that stuff in Adobe Illustrator and then I do all the assembly and preparation for print in Adobe Photoshop. And I pretty much got it down to a really cool process. Well, a process that works for me. And as I'm finding out, this is really a process that, that works specifically for me. And as an artist, you have to figure out what process works best for you. But this one does work. and. It's just me showing you, this is not me telling you, this is what you gotta do. Don't think this is how you gotta do things, but this is how I do things, and this is how it works. All right guys, so when I'm in Adobe Illustrator, what I like to do is I like to do my sketch first, which is basically the whole drawing, uh, foreground, background, the subject matter, everything uh, in that sketch. But then when I get to doing the final inks over the sketch, which is basically just the pen, my brush line, reduce like the 28% opacity and then when I go on I create another layer and then on that layer I will then uh, do the final inks which is of course my inks at 100% opacity what I will do is I will then work on just my main subject or my foreground first make that um, once I've got that all inked out and then I'll put a layer up under my ink layer and then fill that in with all white. Now why do I do that? It's because I want to keep the foreground and the background as separate layers so that when I drop them into Photoshop as smart objects when I'm doing the assembly process it's easier to manipulate them like I, I don't have to mask anything off or separate anything is already separated so then I can just move my foreground image which is normally the people in love or doing whatever they're doing in the, in, in the cover move that so that it's uh, in front of the logo and then the background is all the way in the back and it just keeps everything nice and tight and separate all right so once I've got all the drawings done and I've got everything separated into the layers that I needed to be separated into then I take everything from photo from Illustrator in the Photoshop and one of the techniques that I use to keep everything on point just so I can size it correctly and work with it in a certain way that really works for well for me is to drop all of the artwork into each individual layer as a smart object. So when you drop artwork in as a smart object, that means you drop it, you don't open it up as a, you don't open it up in the program, you actually drag and drop it from a folder separate into the program. So when I drag and drop into um, Photoshop, I always drop it, drag and drop the background first 
and then my foreground. And then that also determines where everything falls. And then what I'll do is I, I will open up my leathering because I'm going to do a little bit extra work with that. I'm going to size it and then place it. But by then I've got everything pretty much set up the way I want to. And that's pretty much the process. Draw it in Illustrator, compile it in Photoshop, and composite it. Compile and composite in Photoshop. And then once I've got it done, I save it as a PSD, and then I save as a JPEG. And that's how I end up getting a page completed and done. It is a long process. My neighbors. It's a long process. Well, it's not really a long process. Uh, the longest part is just the artwork just because I'm taking my time doing it but I'm still I'm averaging about three to four pages a day so that's pretty good um, I'm about to knock out this third page now but that's pretty much the process and that's pretty much how I put a page together and the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about this I want you guys to kind of get an idea of the programs that I use and how I use those programs and how they work for me because I'm finding out a lot of people don't like Illustrator <laughs> And um, it seems to be one of those programs that is a little controversial sometimes. So uh, it works for me. And uh, in a future video, I'm going to talk about why it works for me so well. So uh, we're definitely going to do that. But if you guys did like the video, go ahead and, you know, do that liking and then sharing and all over the Internet. Uh, that's really been helping out a lot. And of course, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because uh, we love that and also subscribe subscribe to the channel and um, if you wanted to get in touch with me uh, Twitter and Instagram at DKG72 Facebook fan page and it's uh, David Gordon 72 so uh, and that's the same as my TikTok David Gordon 72 so uh, plenty of ways to get in hold of me I also have a patreon it's linked in the description below and uh, if you really want to support or anything like that pick up some of the products and I have those linked below just like my coloring books and all that good stuff with that being said guys I'm going to get back to working on this coloring book I got two more pages to try to knock out today and uh, I'll holler at y'all next video peace